Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I was in the uh, film and television business and still am as a set designer. Done a lot of work with a lot of major networks over the years. And I started teaching at the School of Visual Arts actually 30 years ago last week. And it's become the, um, the love of my life teaching. And so I've kind of, I kind of brought the aesthetic that I've always been into, which is doing these great three-dimensional monumental type of exhibitions and art pieces. And I've brought them to my students and young people and given them these crazy assignments to see what they can do with it. This is the first time we've ever had this, okay? So Farmingdale has given us this opportunity, that's a wonderful opportunity, where I could show my own stuff and show my student, the best of my student's stuff. So we're together kind of for the first time. The way that show came about is that I read an article about a typewriter repair shop going out of business after 100 years. So I went, I bought 300 typewriters from this typewriter repair place. I gave them to my students and I, and I asked them to take them and give them another life. They were now useless. Let's make a beautiful art piece out of them, but also give them a functional twist. The story of the Yugo is, is legendary. I mean, voted the worst car ever made at the end of the millennium. I actually ended up buying 30 Yugos for less than $3,000. The least I paid was one guy drove it to my house when I asked him how much he, uh, he wanted for the car. He said he didn't want anything for that piece of junk. You can have it. All he wanted was a ride home, not in that car. This was done by a student. Her name was Celia Landegger, and it's really a masterpiece. It's a Yugo that shortened and turned into a baby grand piano, and it's actually functional. Everything in Yugo Next had to be functional. It didn't work as a car, so what do you do with a Yugo when a Yugo don't go? Because it's a Yugo, you need to tune up. This was a functional carousel cell, it really did work. The School of Visual Arts was celebrating its 50th anniversary and the founder of the school, Silas Rhodes, called me into his office and asked me to create a centerpiece for what he was gonna call, what he called the greatest party for the greatest art school in the world. The concept was to not do horses, to create objects that represent people and events of the last 100 years. So in essence, we made at the end of the millennium, this was 1997, a time capsule in the mindset of a young person. So we have here celebrating the history of rock and roll, Chuck Berry. We have the peace symbol that goes like this when the carousel goes around. We even have frozen food represented. My professional career has been doing things with uh, MTV. And of course, MTV is a great client to have when it comes to creativity because they always think out of the box. This was done for the MTV store commemorating the Pimp My Ride show when they asked us to pimp Santa's sleigh. We've worked on the Video Music Awards over the years, the Popcorn Trophy, the Moon Man, we've done many, many things with the Moon Man with the Video Music Awards, so it's been a good run with MTV. It's pastrami. You can't tell? <laughs> You're from Long Island and you can't tell it could, us pastrami? It what clients usually do is call me and they want me to come up with some kind of a monumental sculpture of something. Yeah. And this was a monumental sculpture uh, for Seamless Web. But it's become kind of a, a, a pop art piece and it's all over the internet. It's kind of fun how these things become uh, bigger in real life. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. So many preservatives in it, it doesn't have to be refrigerated anymore. <laughs>